Hi, Phil Plate from BadAstronomy.com here. Got another great question in my live video chat in the chat room. Reader Kate Mado asks, how come the gravity from a black hole is so much stronger than the star from which it formed? Should they be the same? Well, gravity depends on two things. It depends on the mass of an object and how far away you are from it. So I'm going to use my very favorite uh, prop here. That is the squishy brain of science. I like this even more than the mini marshmallow of science that I've used in the past. But here's the squishy brain of science. And it has, it has a certain mass to it. It's not very much. And so it's, its gravity is very weak. Gravity is a tremendously weak, weak force. You need stuff like, you know, a planet before you can have gravity enough to really feel it. But this does have gravity. It's just not very strong. So if I were to have a little particle out here, it would feel gravity from this object and it would get attracted to it and it would fall in. Now the thing is, if I start with a particle here, but I compress my squishy brain of science and make it smaller, the object out here still feels the same gravity from it because it's still the same distance away. And I haven't changed the mass of this. I've just squeezed it down so it's smaller. Now it's hard to do that. So I'm not gonna use that anymore. Now I'm gonna use a, a, a sheet of paper of science. So if I were to crumble this into a, into a wad like that and then have a particle here, it would feel some gravity from this, this wadded up piece of paper. But if I crunch this down smaller, okay, the mass is still the same, the distance is still the same, so this particle still feels the same force of gravity, right? And if I scrunch it down even farther, here we go, now it's even smaller, the gravity is still the same as felt by this particle. But the particle can get closer to the object, right? When this thing was a big puffy wad of paper like this, you can only get so close before you're actually touching it and you can't get any closer. And so the gravity maximizes right there, right on the surface. But if I squish it smaller, you can get closer. And so the distance gets smaller and the gravity goes up. And that's why black holes have such strong gravity. Not that they're more massive, it's that they're small. So the mass of a star, when it collapses, you get a big star, like 20 times the mass, 40 times the mass of the sun. It explodes and the outer layers blow off, but the core of that thing collapses down and it forms a black hole. Now, the black hole itself might have three or four times the mass of the sun, but when it was the core of a star and it was big, the gravity from it that you felt was exactly the same as it was when, it's a, is when it becomes a black hole. But now that it's a black hole, you can get very close to it because a black hole with three times the mass of the sun is only a few miles across. It used to be, you know, a million miles across when it was a star, but now it's only a few miles across. You can get incredibly close to that thing. All that mass is concentrated into a tiny point. You can get really close and the gravity gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And eventually you get so close to this thing that, uh, that no force in the universe can keep you from falling in. Even a beam of light can't get out of a black hole because the gravity is so strong. So it's not anything special about black holes, it's just that they're small. If the sun were to collapse into a black hole right now, the Earth would continue to orbit the sun like nothing had changed because the gravity the Earth, the Earth feels from the sun would be exactly the same. The sun's mass is the same, its distance from the Earth is the same, we'd feel the same gravity. We would all die because we'd freeze to death, but that's a whole other story. And of course, the sun can't become a black hole. You don't have to worry about that. Um, I do talk about this in my upcoming book, uh, Death from the Skies, with an exclamation point. Uh, I always love plugging that. Um, and of course, you know, by October, if you're watching this YouTube video after October, it's already come out. Check Amazon.com. But you can find out all about black holes there. Um, but that's where the real strength of black holes is. It's not because they're, they're, they reach out and grab stuff or anything like that. It's because they're dinky. You know, who would have thought?